Hey you guys, so um, today's video is going to be uh, Camping Barbie. Um, they did release another version of the same doll that they just released like maybe a month ago. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen her in the store, but this was the old version of that Camping Barbie with the compass and the plaid pants. They have different versions of the same doll, so I guess you just pick which outfit you like the best. And you, you know, you can pick and choose. They have this version right here, which I did a review on a long time ago. It's basically the same body mold, so you just pick out your outfit and your hair color, and you're good to go. I mean, she has the boots and everything, just like the other girl does. But so this is this camping Barbie right here, which I did a review on. Um, I don't know. You have to find it on the channel it's somewhere. But um, so this time they released another camping Barbie, which is a shorter hair, I guess, shorter hair layered, um, like a golden blonde color. And this is the new version of that same doll that they have released now for since they released like the camping trailer and then the fire pit now, which is really, really nice. Um, so this is the new version of this camping Barbie, you guys. Um, she's got a really nice cottony shirt. She's got some nylon shorts. You guys can hear that. It's very it's that scratchy nylon. Um, she's got this shirt right here that's tied around her waist. We're gonna actually open that. And let you know whether it's a real shirt or not, or whether it's just like an accessory that they just like tied around like jewelry almost. You know what I'm saying? She got these really cool sunglasses right here, and her hair is tied up right here in this weird elastic thing that's happened right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But um overall, this is Kajinka and Orn right here, like snaps, like the little plastic snaps, which I cannot stand. Um, they are snapped on. And her pants are actually an elastic waistband, which is really strange, but let me show you the elastic waistband. You see this? There's no actual like metal you know, snaps or like Velcro or anything like that. So it is an elastic waistband right there. Um, this is all nylon uh, pants. They're like water resistant. So if they get wet, you know what I'm saying? You good to go. They're not. They're not going to take that long to dry. Um, this is her little boots right here. She is a flat footed girl, which is very, really, really strange. But um. It's got the seams in the back, so it's very easy to, to you know, change her boots if you don't like the flats. Um, you can do it like a sandal, but she is a flat-footed girl. No, not very detailed boots at all, just very basic, you know, red boot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought that was so strange. So let's untie this from the front. And I'm untying this thing right here and seeing what the deal is with this shirt. So, um, it's more so an accessory so it's not an actual like if you wanted to actually take this off you see what, let me show you guys okay do you see this move her hair out the way so you can see it's actually sewn on to the pant which i find that odd let's see if i can get a good close-up for you guys so i can actually show you what the deal is so this is sewn on right here, unfortunately. So if you would want to take this off, you'd have to actually cut the stitches that they actually stitched into the pants. I think if it was meant to come off, they would have kajinkered it as an accessory to wear. They would have just um, kajinkered it on, but because they stitched it on, I don't believe it's not meant to come off. It is really stitched on there, you guys. So it's more so as an accessory rather than something for Barbie to wear, which is kind of stupid. They should have just kajinked it on air and actually took the time to make a real nice shirt for Barbie to wear for camping. So it's more so of an accessory, you guys, unfortunately. It does have sewn on sleeves. So if you did want to wear it as a shirt, you could, but I don't think it's an actual shirt shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not an actual long sleeve plaid nice shirt. Because they would have, like, had some kind of Velcro sewn on the front or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, this is right here is sewn on for the guards. Like, there's nothing. You'd actually have to go in there and, like, have some kind of stitching removal tool. Because scissors would, would, I think, would cut the doll, the pants itself. Because it's really stitched in there, unfortunately. But they did actually bother to sew sleeves, which I do like because it makes it look like a real shirt, which is not. I mean, it's just unfortunate that this is not a real shirt. But um, it's still a cute doll at the same time. Okay. Her hair is like, maybe it's very golden blonde. Very, very shiny golden blonde. Just really, really nice and silky. You see how silky? It's barely any box hair for a change, you guys. She's got a little bit of glue underneath here or some type of um, gel. You know what I'm saying? That that Barbie hair gel. Um, 
but it is very, very cute. Okay, so if you want, you might have to wash this out, you guys. So if you're really particular about gel and stuff like that, I think for packaging reasons, they did gel like all back here. It's not on, on this side, but it's actually in the inside. So I think that's really sweet, but it's still cute at the same time because it is a King Bing Barbie. As adults, we see more than a kid actually does. Like a kid is just going to look at it and say, oh, okay, great. It's a Barbie. They're not going to sit there and nitpick every little thing like collectors, like us collectors do. Like, because it says a Playline doll. This is not a collector doll, but I collect a lot of Playline dolls. I mean, because they're all affordable. They're only like, I think this was like $8 or $10. It's not that much money at all for these things. Um, she has no glue in the head, which is so nice that they have completely removed. I'm going to stop saying that from now on. Not unless she has glue in the head. I will definitely let you guys know. But, I mean, this doll has no glue in the head. I'm so glad that they have stopped doing it now. I mean, it's finally come to an end with that glue seat pitch situation. So... And this is her articulation. She's got nice, you know, head moving, you know, regular Barbie body type thing. She's got that model muse permanent position pose thing happening right here. It's still cute. I mean, it's cute, right? I'm surprised that they even actually have a cotton shirt on her. Like, I would think like it would be like a cheaper, you know, more generic material. But I'm so very surprised they've actually put a cotton shirt on her. No lie. Like, I was just like, whoa, they actually put a cotton shirt it is a Velcro, you know, shirt right here. You could see that right here. Very, very nice. Everything's, you know, elastic waistband right here. I kind of wish they would have put Velcro on here instead of putting an elastic waistband. I guess it was more, I, I, maybe she might even fit in a curry doll. I don't know, like a curry Barbie might fit in this. You're going to have to try that out yourself. But um, for collective purposes, she is perfect for me. I think that she is cute. She's got her little knick-knack things wrong with her. And she comes with this little cute canteen. Look how cute that is. It would have been really nice, though, if she, this would have opened. So you could actually put, like, some type of liquid inside. It is a, like, plasticky, flexible type stuff. Just, it is cute, though. It's very, very bright green. However, it is hard for her to hold. It, it kind of just, like, sits on her shoulder like all the Barbie purses do. Um, It came rubber band onto her. I mean, but it is cute at the same time. I just wish that they would have actually made her a real shirt and not something that, you know what I'm saying, just could jink her in on the back of her pants if that's necessary and just make her a really, really cute, you know, nice button down plaid shirt would have been really, really nice. As collectors, we like things like that, but for play line purposes, it is still a cute doll, but you know, she has that one little flaw right here that I really don't care for, but everything else is okay. I mean, she's just a really, really pretty doll because I don't buy dolls that I don't like. I buy them because I like them, but I do have to critique them for you guys and let you know what's up with these dolls. Just to give you a little critique, you know, let you know, you know, if you guys are really particular, don't buy her. But I mean, at the same time, she is cute. So what do you guys think of this cute little play line doll? She is a camping doll. You guys, they have two different versions of this one Barbie. So they have the one with the compass, um, which I'm sure you guys have seen in the store, which I find the one with the compass has thicker hair. It's longer, and it's like, it's prettier looking to me. I mean, it's way thicker, you guys. Way, way thicker. And then you can definitely see the difference. Look, look, at, it. look at this girl's hair. Look at this girl's hair. This is like thick and luscious and long, okay? Multi-tone highlights. And this is a lot thinner. You guys can see the difference right here, right? Like, you see the big poof right here that she has going? This doll got so much hair. And this one's okay. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, though, maybe they root, they root them with, like, less hair. But at the same time, that it's it, there's no ball patches. So regardless of how much the density is, they have no ball patches. And they, the hair will never come out no, no matter how much you brush. So the density difference is definitely there. You guys can see that. I mean, this this doll's hair right here is, is, like, way thicker than this one. It's just crazy to me how things change so drastically. But they do have the same exact body. So they do have that, you know, that permanent model muse body. They both have the flat feet with the boots, which I think is still cute. But I think the quality is just, is just getting weird. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave some comments down below. And just remember to like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.